Hey guys, what's up? It's Zola, and I'm going to be covering Trinity today. Uh, so this was probably the big first big montage that I did. Uh, this intro nearly killed my laptop. I was on a not particularly fast laptop working through the summer, as I believe I was at my grandparents for six months, like I was. And uh, there's so many things in here that are just like... I was still really new to After Effects as well, so I was kind of figuring it out. And while I was at my grandparents, this... Uh, title was done from a tutorial from Ayato Web, uh, but I kind of like the way the text came in at the end. And I had this whole Chinese theme going on. I think I may have been watching Mulan or something. Uh, this first song was Tenzo's song. Uh, so Tenzo was a good friend of mine during the Halo days um, from Canada. Uh, we used to talk about anime every day. We used to be on AIM every day to each other, and um, I kind of watched him grow as a player. He kind of went to a few events, but. Uh, we were just really good friends, you know, outside of Halo. He, he got in touch with me first because of uh, the Fury on Minitage I did. And then that's how I got in touch with Frag and Sheeny at the same time through Tenso. So, um, yeah, his clips are absolutely amazing. And I, I just basically used to speak to him on a daily basis. He used to be like, oh, I've just got a new clip. Oh, I've just got a new clip. And it was getting to the point where we didn't know when to bring the video out because all three of these players were just keeping on getting really good clips. This... And he kept started playing against better and better players. Uh, I basically was the reason he started to claw. Uh, he net because he didn't have enough like double shot and BXR clips. So I told him to start clawing, and uh, suddenly like he started getting absolutely ridiculous clips. And uh, he he thanked me um, at that time for for helping him to learn how to claw. This transition was one that I'd used a couple times in the Fury and Minitage, the the morph one. I guess that was kind of my calling card at the time. It was. Uh, the effects that I'd kind of made popular. Uh, this clip, uh, so he was part of the LGD clans, um, was really nice, one of my favorites, and then Soldier 187 there, uh, obviously quite a famous player. Uh, all these like Cloud, uh, Rudy, all these were like really good players, but a lot of these clips would have been impossible if he wasn't clawing. Um, uh, that was another thing I like to do, like I like to bring maps in uh, using the natural transitions. So there, he had the clip where he came up the lift, and I kind of masked out the side of the lift, just so I could bring the clip in a bit bigger. Uh, a lot of his clips were FFA, but then again, at the time, everyone was playing FFA to try and get the highest multi-kills available. Uh, so it, it became that point. I really like uh, clips on Sanctuary, though. Like uh, For me, they were like the epitome of what made Halo 2 a good, uh, good game. Uh, this, uh, no, no, no typical like FFA clip. Uh, him and Sheeny towards the end got really competitive in terms of... Oh yeah, the little molecule scene, forgot about that. I was trying to make it look like I was coming from the very fibres of the uh, from the helmet. <laughs> uh, definitely one which uh, has dated not as well as some of the other effects I did. Uh, some of the body highlighting there which uh, I guess was made f uh, popular by um, Peridius in his videos. Uh, of course the wall she was like the, the gold standard for me like my favourite montage of all time for sure Halo one anyway uh, that I, I don't I don't know why he used red red is such a horrible colour to flash uh, full screen but there you go this uh, transition was another one which I brought from the Fury on Minitage I really like it kind of adding trap cord shine over it just to give like the shutters a bit of energy as they came past I got hands to record that uh, that claw clip. I really like this last headshot. It was just so disgusting for the overkill, overkill for the kill tack, I guess. <laughs> uh, the intro to frags was uh, just a simple fractal noise trick. It's literally, um, and then I just varied the colours on it. Um, this first clip was really nice. Though. I really like the first one. And first time I used. Uh, 30 seconds to Mars as well. That f clip was one of the first ones that I actually properly time ramped. I don't know if you've ever... Time ramping is when you speed up and slow something down and it's not effect I used a great deal at the start of my... when I started editing. And that was one of the first few times I'd actually done it and um, it became like one of my favourite effects because if you watch films like The Matrix, it's obviously, obviously an effect that's really popular in those kinds of films. That, that's, that clip honestly gets me every time. He must have been so angry. Uh, the carbine always good. Like at any speed you play the ki uh, the clip, a carbine is always 
so entertaining to watch and to listen to in a montage. Uh, I, I love clips of Carmine, basically. Uh, Hans obviously went on to do Jiltality, which was uh, his first solo montage with Sticktality, but one where he edited and had his own clips. Um, but I became friends with Frag through this, and uh, he's you know I saw him on Facebook and speak to him every now and again. He's a real cool guy. Uh, that clip as well is just beautiful through the plasma plasma shot. Uh, that is this literally that is about as high pressure as you can get. And then obviously we have the build up to V effects, which uh, was the one that everyone kind of enjoyed the most. But in the run up, there's this really unique clip where it's a shame he didn't get this as a BXR. Like he's actually beat down, but uh, but yeah, just the, probably the most unique clip in the video. And then here we have the infamous um, Spartan crashing through the screen. And again, another one that took a while to get right because I had the Spartan coming through the window and then I didn't really know what to do afterwards. And I ended up doing this kind of uh, like the bank of screens, almost like at the end of the matrix when he's in uh, the tunnel. The thing is, I didn't have internet because I was at my grandparents. It's not like I had anything to reference with any of these effects. So it was kind of like um, an effect which just came about organically. When I look back at it now, I, I can definitely see the Matrix influences. Uh, that piece of glass was really... I was so lucky that um, as I was playing about with the, the shutter effect in After Effects that I got one piece of glass to actually come towards the camera. Uh, I think I might have even split the layer up once or twice with that effect to make sure like one fragment came to the screen and then again using track code shine to add that uh, the bit of fire um, just to kind of make the effect a bit more a bit more polished have a bit more energy which is something I like to do quite a lot and then this was it again this was one of the last clips that Hans got um, and the reason they end up at the end of the video is because by here you've usually like that most of your video is set and so you've not really got that much room. Uh, this video wall at the start for Sheenies definitely is one that if I were to do it again uh, I would go back and do that much better. But at the time I was actually really happy with this. I really like this first clip because of the way it syncs with the song. Hey, hey. Amberlynn, uh, I got into Amberlynn basically because of Sheenie. Uh, again, a bit like Tenzo, like we spoke about music and all kinds of shit and uh, again I'm still friends with uh, all three of them on Facebook still, still speak to Sheeny now he's a big fucker he's a start going uh, well he's always been a kind of gym buff but um, uh, he's a cool guy he's a cool guy and uh, there we go a bit of track called shine again I again it's just like using the effects sparingly but uh, at the same time using them uh, to, uh, this clip was great because he got Frag and uh, Tenzo and a double shot in it, so uh, for him it was uh, <laughs> probably a bit, probably one of his favourite clips because he got a clip on the other two. It was at a time when they were all playing free-for-alls together, trying to get clips on each other, trying to outdo each other for the montage. I mean, they pretty much shown each other all their clips anyway, but it was always competitive, which is uh, good for me because that spirit of competition definitely leads you to getting better clips. Uh, that was a nice subtle effect. Again, I, I was all about experimenting at this stage because I didn't re I taught myself After Effects, and so a lot of these effects probably wouldn't have come about if I was learning After Effects in a traditional way. And because I was editing all my videos in After Effects as well, I already had the clips on the timeline. Whereas I know a lot of people use uh, Premiere or Final Cut or Vegas back in the day to uh, do those. Uh, programs where the the effects were way more limited so it was kind of cool to have everything obviously it took me so much more long uh, so much longer to edit the videos because of After Effects because you have to run preview everything so it was not ideal but at the same time it was my style of editing and when I started making a video I've always been a believer in uh, it'll be ready when it's ready which is why I never had release dates and uh, only for the straight ripping one and even that one was kind of uh, forced on me it wasn't something in my choosing I guess uh, so yeah it, it, it was one that um, it's probably the only one this clip just worked so well with the song and then I had the little trinity symbol there as a subtle uh, little transition wipe um, but yeah it's it, I, I'm all about like the, I, I didn't even show the video to anyone until I was done with people's songs you know I showed Sheenie's song and 
frag his song and Tenzo their song at the end. I think Tenzo's the last one I finished. Shinis was the first. Uh, just because I loved the Amberlynn song and I already had it on my hard drive when I went that summer. So uh, here's the logo again done in 3DS Max. Some controversial ref uh, sky reflections there. Oh my god, it looks so bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was one of the videos where I had. Um, Again, the background is just me experimenting and just getting used to um, just used to uh, After Effects. So this is done with fractal noise and then uh, just some colours overlaid really. It's like coloured fractal noise. It might have been a tutorial, it might have been me experimenting. It looks like an experiment to me. And it looks like I have that earlier clip that I used at the start of Frag's intro just overlaid to add some extra lines. Uh, probably in a screen or overlay mode or something like that. And uh, yeah, and then this is it. This is uh, the old school Halo montages with the credits, which, uh, you know, when you finish the video, the credits are a pain in the ass to do. Uh, because unless you're, you're in the later videos, I use the credits to express myself as much as any other part of the video, especially with um, the straight ripping montage specifically, because I, I used it to do that nice transition of the maps and uh, just tell the end of a little story and uh, legacy as well I kind of like made the whole last song kind of like the credits I mean I didn't put credits up because I, I had people's names in the corner which meant I didn't really need to thank anyone but uh, I kind of viewed that last song as a kind of like slow credits as it were I did put some names up in the end and uh, this was kind of I thought kind of funny a unique transition to come out of After Effects and then uh, just got to close the program. I remember when I did it, someone called me pretentious, which I just found hilarious. I was like, why is that pretentious? Uh, kind of made me laugh <laughs> because anyone who knows me knows that uh, I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff. So uh, it was kind of funny. It's always kind of funny when someone you don't know on the internet has a go at you for something they know absolutely nothing about. But that's the internet for you. So <laughs> hopefully you guys got uh, something out of this. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, I might have to start reviewing other people's montages because there's only... I might do the Groin Twist montage, which was the first, first montage I ever did. Because uh, it might be interesting to have a look at what was essentially the first video I ever did. But all the others are like not specific videos that I spent a lot of time on. So probably not those. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.